What's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the God Slayer Great Sword and Elden Ring. So don't forget to smash that like button, smash that sub button, and drop a comment. Thanks. So, we're going to need that. <clears throat> we're going to need to head over to the Divine Tower of Kaled right over here. And you can actually get here very early. If you didn't know, once you spawn in over here, by the first step, make your way over here and make a right, go up here and hit the third church of America. And there's a portal that's not going to be marked because it only gets marked once you get far into the game. And it's going to send you all the way over here. It's going to send you to the bestial sanctum. And from here, just make your way down, either go to the dragon or take the poisonous route. You, this is an optional grace. Unless you want to rune form. I totally forgot about the ball that rolls off the cliff here. That's not the point here. Keep making your way past this tree and head over to this grace. The Dragon's Burrow Fork. This is the closest grace from the Divine Tower. So from here, I'm going to show you how to get there. Follow me. The Divine Tower is right there. <clears throat> and once you've hit this branch watch out for that guy you're pretty much here Yes, I am a blood user. So, climb up these stairs and follow me. Now make a left and hop on your mount. It makes things a lot easier. Oh my! Alright. You can ignore that guy. And hit the ladder. What a view. And there should be another grace to the left once you're done climbing. Now let's keep on going. If you have Bloodhound Step, I recommend you use it. But you can also run. So follow me. Run past these two guards. And then turn around, hug this wall. And this is going to break and it will catch you. And you will take zero fall damage. So now drop down. And this is a trick I like to use. You see this message? Just walk off. And you should be good. Because every time I would jump, I'd over jump or under jump. And same thing with this one. Just walk off. Boom. Up here and there. If you have any range, um, any range spells or a bow and arrow, I recommend you take this guy out because he could knock you off. Or if you just lock onto him, that could make you fall off. Alright. Let's try that again. With the Rivers of Blood out. Instead of the Bloodhound Step. Dagger. See? I almost fell off. That was scary. So. Um, well, there's supposed to be something waiting for you here. Like that. This is supposed to be waiting for you here. But since I already did this, it was already up there. So it's going to take you up. And proceed to follow me. Now you can either take him out or just step by him.
and head over this way. Jump on this ledge. Same situation. It's going to break. And you're going to be good. Like I said before, this will be waiting for you here. And this will escort you down to the final grace before the boss. Which is right here. And from here on out, we're going to fight the boss. So watch this. Wish me luck. It's a godskin apostle, but the good thing is, this guy doesn't split up. It's only the skinny dude, you know what I'm saying? Oh no. Did not mean to drink that. They gotta fix that, bro. I can't believe this game hasn't fixed that. They gotta make that wall a literal wall. A solid wall. Whatever, whatever. Yep. You also get the Godskin Apostle hood, robe, bracelets, trousers. And now time for the God Slayer Greatsword, which is right over here. Ta-da! And for this weapon, we need 20 strength, 22 dex, and 20 faith. So I'm going to go respec real quick. And we're here. I'm going to show you the attacks for this sword. This sword looks crazy. I think it's as tall as my character or everybody's character. So LB or L1, you know, use punch. LT or L2. Let's see. Oh, I missed. But it still looks sick as hell. Keep in mind, this sword isn't even upgraded. And it's doing pretty good damage. Now, let's see what happens if I press R2. Oh, ho, ho. that's a head stomper. So you can combine RT... An LT or R2, an LT. I mean L2. And um yeah. We'll have a nice combo. Now let's see R1. Oh, okay. RBR1 is just a basic swing. Let me try a combo of it. That's perfect. Because RT will just stun them. And then LT will just finish them off. Nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a great day. Peace!